Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips, Monday, June 13th, 2022. And we're here downtown San Diego, Freedom Boat Club, Captain Nom. It's a little bit after five o'clock in the morning, 5.30 sunrise. We're looking on that hunt for the bluefin tuna. What's up, bro? Good morning, good morning. <laughs> That's right. What are we looking at? How's the weather looking? We're gonna still we gonna still send it? Yeah. Word has it that the tuna are marching a little bit closer by the south nine, so we'll see what we can get on them. Make it happen. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you smash that subscribe. Pound that like for Mike. <laughs> Show love and support. Let's get it. Like it. Here we go, showtime. The fleet of Freedom Boat Club boats here. We got the Key West today. Last time we had the center console Defiance. And then today we got the Key West right here. We've got the Yamaha 250 four stroke. Oh well. Got the ice up front, GoPro ready to go. Got all the setups, we're going no live bait today. All jigs, the jig light. Got the spreader bar just in case. Nice little variety pack of the Cedar Plug, Mad Mac, Poppers. There's that TLD, LRS, you seen the other video. We're trolling the spreader bar. Got the gyro binoculars, that's always important to have. Spot the fish. Cause supposedly they're moving up. We'll look at the maps in a little bit. I'm gonna get my stuff set up. All right, let's see what are we working with here. The Atak Ulua, the 93H. It's a seeker, right? Yeah, this is a classic iron rod or popper rod. Jig jig stick here for San Diego. 10 foot? Yeah, yeah, pretty close, 9.4. 9.4? Or 9, yeah, 9 30 to 60 pound, then you got the Talica 12. Yep on it and oh you have a top shot yeah a little bit yeah. you do fish a little bit that yeah. that's a mono top shot yeah and then we're gonna tie this up to uh, the halco popper nice uh, classic the haymaker the yeah. rooster rooster haymaker yeah i hooked a really big fish a few seasons ago with it bought it for two hours and lost it at deep color the last time we was on a single speed trank 500. oh big cow on a phone line. That was a hard one. Maybe, Sweet. Uh, I'm not going to get away with this time with this. Yeah, that's a beautiful setup. Yeah. Get them. <laughs> nice action on that popper. Yeah, that's what you want. Create that. Yeah, see, but then you can go too much. That's on the new, that's the new Lexa. Yeah. 28 pounds drag on that. Yeah. 400 size reel. And then that's also a Halco. Uh... And we are off and on our way. Got the Mad Mac, there it is right there. The pink 200 Mad Mac, gonna troll that. And I got the cedar plug. I'm gonna troll the cedar plug and then got the poppers ready to go. I got the stick bait ready to go. 
What's going on with the tuna? What have you heard about the tuna? Well, I got a phone call yesterday from my buddy who worked on the Nomad Sport Fishing. He uh, was on the way home, cruising through the canyon right outside of the uh, Coronado Islands. So we got the and, Coronado uh, Islands right here and then the canyon uh, over here. This was yesterday or Saturday? Yesterday. 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 Right around 12.30 uh, p.m. Uh, we saw five or six foamers, anywhere from 50 to 100, something over 100, mixed grade, all just foaming. So he told me to get that opportunity and take that opportunity and get out here real quick. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing right now. There's a th here's a 36. That would be ideal one right here. Those are, I think, 27s. I don't know if they have any 30s. It looks like they all got that sugar scoop on the back. The wind seems like it lightened up a little bit. It doesn't seem as, as windy, huh? Yeah. You see that Hatteras on the end? I know the guy, he's gonna take me on a uh, San Clemente mothership trip on that boat. Really? Yeah, he said I can load the solo skiff and a bunch of, cause uh, Polar Bear, the sailboat is down there at the Sheraton. There it is, Pilakia swordfish boat Damn, here. So I saw him out at the nine mile bank. I was fishing the upper nine and he cruises by Asked me if everything's okay. I'm on the solo skiff. At, yeah, he comes out. He goes, hey, you all good? Do you need anything? Do you want Wi-Fi? You want a quesadilla? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even joking. So then in November, when I'm down in Mag Bay, mm -hmm. on the solo skiff in the mangroves, he comes out of the fog. He was down in Baja, I I... down by Cabo in Mag Bay. Damn. That same boat that I saw at the Nine Mile Bank up here. I'm not even joking, bro. It was so wild. Yeah. I have it on video. Who we got coming in here? The Fortune? Wonder how they did. They look like a smaller boat, huh? We're about nine miles from the spot, from the zone. We're smashing. You're going, what, 22? You've been able to go over 20 pretty much the whole entire time. Got Coronado Islands there in the distance. They're west of the Coronados. Look for the birds. Water's already really nice and blue. That's really, really good sign. Bird? Yeah, there's already a turn bird right there. The fog is uh, it's not limiting the sight. We'll be able to see. So hopefully we'll see foamers start to pop up. We got another six pack boat. I think it's the Nautilus in the distance. Going Trevor, Captain Trevor, and we're gonna get them. Got the poppers and the stick baits ready to go. Mad Mac Patrol. Next stop, tuna time. We got the patty, kelp patty right here. Let's throw a stick bait at it. Yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, they'd be chasing it, right? Yep. Let's do it. Time to troll that Mad Mac. You're going to put the Mad Mac out? You want me to put the cedar plug out? Yeah. Further than yours? Which one do you... Yeah, because that dies... about 150 yards. That's so guy... What's that got? A 100 pound leader on it? Yeah. That cedar plug? Yeah. yeah. Got a 100 pound leader on the cedar plug. Tied straight to my 80 pound... I'm gonna put it out past the wash, right? Yeah, like that. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Roll hard, cedar plug, Mad Max, 12 miles an hour, even the rainbow. All right, putting the trollers back out. He's now I'm sticking with the Mad Max, and then I got a tangle with the cedar plug. So I'm gonna go with the DTX Minnow instead. Have one diving down deeper. 
one up top. Hopefully we don't get tangled. Can I put mine out? Just short. Rolling hard, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, I'll just put the one, have the one out. I'm gonna keep mine in. We got birds going crazy up here. It's about to blow up right here in front of us. Got the surface side, ready? Yep. No fish, no bait. Yeah, we're running to his red and the pink one. I think he said uh, the pink, something about a pink spreader. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So, all right, we just got a report from this boat right here. They got a 50 pounder on the spreader bar. So we're going to put the spreader out and then their birds are starting to go crazy over here. Go, Gotta love this thing, it's so easy to set up. I know, that's what's really nice about it. And then he catches fish, this guy. Yep. Oh, he just got, oh, he just got it, now he's moving. Dang. Yeah, he just brought it in, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so he was Bendo when we first rolled up. Yeah. That's down. what I thought. Damn, what a beast. I thought no, I thought there was one other person sitting down, wasn't uh, there? I don't know. I thought it was myself. Maybe he is solo. Come on, baby. Let's get this right. I it might be okay. You cut it. Yeah, it looks like you're clear, right? Got the big boy uh, Mola Mola right there. We're in the zone. We're still trolling hard. We got the spreader bar out back, splashing away. We've seen some birds here and there start to gather, but never really went full berserker crazy and started picking. And then we heard about that boat getting a 50 pounder on the spreader bar. So we're gonna keep the spreader bar out. Keep going hard and make it happen. We got breezers. Yeah, right there. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, those are nice ones too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to throw a pop on it? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, it's dolphin. Or dolphin. Oh, dolphin. mammals. Wow. Chasing mammals. And there's probably not tuna with it. Uh, uh, maybe yellow mammals. Liberty got the yellow fin trolling with the dolphins yesterday. No. Yeah, the dolphins. All right, here we go, making our approach. We've got a bunch of birds coming up here. I saw one pick down on the water. I haven't seen the fish come up, but there's gotta be fish underneath here. So the guy on the boat earlier was saying that on the spreader bar, they were trolling around the birds. It's just a lot of white caps is tricking me. You're gonna, we're gonna hook up on the troll. 
They're they're right under these birds, right? Yeah, you're just kind of circling around the outside of them. All the zone. Wow, the birds are going nuts behind us on this. I just saw it's it's underneath the birds, all the birds. All right, that's it. That's all for the spreader bar for now. In case we run into something, we'll have it ready to go. Trolled hard. We're here just west of the Coronados. Got a little bit of action. There were some birds. And the guy got a 50 pounder this morning on the spreader bar. And then we didn't see pretty much anything since then. See from the weather wise, it's just is what it is. You never know what will happen though. Make our way back. How many gallons we use so far of gas? 28 so far. It's all good, fishing hard, putting the time. Until next time.